Hello everyone, I'm Eric, I'm KC9ASC, and today I have distrowatch.com on the screen here. Uh, the reason I have that website pulled up is to kind of guide you uh, if you're interested in getting started with Linux, or if you've been using it for a while and you're not familiar with the website. So if you take a look at the center of the page, you'll have a breakdown of different Linux distros. But if you look at the right-hand side of the screen, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, you'll see the ranking Linux distros by popularity, and let's say I wanted to learn a little bit more about Linux Mint, which is a current distro that I'm using. It'll take me directly to that page, and I'll be able to see screenshots. It'll tell me a little bit about the architecture, tell me about what it does for that particular distro. I can find the original website, and I can go there as well. I can actually download the distro. So it's, it's got a lot of information about each of these Linux distros. But the most important thing is this is all in one spot. So you have kind of like a menu. You know, it, it shows all these different Linux distros out there. Um, perhaps you just want the native Debian. And you can go there. It'll tell you all about the different versions out there, different desktop environments that you can get. Um, it tells you a little bit about the project, how long it's been around, and of course, the original website that it comes from. So, Excellent website. I've been following this website for several years. It's been around for quite some time. But uh, I know that there's more people out there that are getting into Linux or uh, perhaps you're, you're distro hopping. I know that tends to ha happen with uh, a lot of these diff different ones. You try ones that you like. Um, for example, here's uh, another one I'm going to click on. It's Fedora. So I, I like all of these different Linux distros. I, I prefer Debian-based ones, but I've used Fedora. It works very well right out of the box. Um, you know, try them all. Figure out which one works best for you. We hope that you enjoy it, and hope that you check out the website and find the Linux distro that you prefer to try. And by the way, you, know, you can run these directly on uh, an SD card, a USB device, a USB hard drive. You don't necessarily have to run them directly on your machine. Uh, perhaps you want to run them in a virtual environment, you can do that also. Um, a lot of these, for example, like Linux Mint, um, I run it on an old laptop. I have several old laptops, and as soon as I installed Linux Mint on those, um, you know, it was like running a brand new computer all over again. So, for my purposes, you know, now if you plan on running, uh, if you plan on doing a lot of heavy uh, usage type stuff for like, I don't know, video editing or, or stuff like that, then it's probably not going to be the best. You're going to want to run it on a more modern system. But, uh, you know, if you're just doing basic web browsing and viewing, watching videos, movies, that kind of stuff, um, even playing some ga some light games, you know, it really brings a lot of fresh life back to older machines. So check it out, see how it runs on your machine, and uh, let us know how we did in the comments below. And uh, hope that you'll... Give us some feedback on your experience using Linux.